Now that you've heard about three recently approved new drugs to treat myeloma, Revlimid, Thalidomide, and Velcade, let's talk about another relatively new drug that's approved to treat leukemia, APL, but not myeloma, arsenic trioxide. This is a heavy metal that's showing great efficacy to treat myeloma patients today, especially when used in combination. We don't completely understand how it works, but we do know, like Velcade, it also prevents the breakdown of proteins that cause myeloma cells to die. It also potently inhibits the formation of blood vessels. We know this is also important in the growth of myeloma. The drug is administered intravenously. It usually takes several hours to give it. It's given a couple of times a week, although the schedules vary. Now, it has a distinctly separate side effect profile. Specifically, the drug can slow the heart rate. And so we monitor the electrocardiogram, or EKG, periodically in patients who get it, weekly at first, and then monthly after the first several months. It's rare that this effect occurs, but it can be serious. Importantly, to reduce that side effect, we have to keep the potassium and magnesium levels high. That reduces the risk. And rarely, much more infrequently than Velcade or thalidomide, this drug can cause numbness or tingling. The drug is active, especially when combined with other drugs. Vitamin C, of all things, when you use vitamin C with arsenic, you lower something in the cell called glutathione, and that makes the arsenic work better. It's also effectively used with steroids, a variety of chemotherapy agents, and more recently, thalidomide and Velcade. This drug can be safely administered in the setting of kidney failure, and even in patients on dialysis, and in many times it can reverse kidney failure. Very important for our myeloma patients who commonly develop kidney problems. Now that you've heard about all of the specific drugs to treat myeloma itself, over the next few sections, we're going to tell you about the specific complications that occur in myeloma patients and how we can deal with them with both treatment with medications as well as surgery.